Good morning, folks. First day back uh, after vacation. Actually, I came in yesterday in the afternoon and got some stuff taken care of. But um, I was in a pretty frustrated place last night, which is that I was trying to do some work about 10 o'clock and Fusion 360, the cloud went down. Um, and let's talk about the cloud. I love Fusion 360. I will continue to be an advocate, I think. Um, I want to understand not necessarily what happened technically, but what the future is and understand its role. Um, everyone can can complain or, or, or bitch, but the reality is it is incredible CAM. It's pretty good CAD, uh, gets it done, um, but it is a great value and I hope it's gonna work. But to me, its primary role is CAD and CAM, period. The fact that that happens via the cloud at first, to me, was a really a drawback. At first, I was like, man, I use SolidWorks, HSM Works. I have SugarSync, which is like Dropbox, to sync my stuff behind the scenes. It's always on all of my computers, so I've got redundancy. You know, this cloud stuff is just sort of shenanigans to me. I've actually honestly grown to change. I legitimately like most of, of how that works. Uh, Jared and I can hop in between files much more easily. The versioning is actually pretty nice. And there's some, I think some stuff coming that's kind of cool, but those are all second tier features. Those features cannot in any situation ever interrupt the primary feature, period. Um, yes, it's more important to me as a business owner where I just can't, like you can't, you can't have me not open files generate tool pass, upload stuff, quote stuff, access stuff, ever, period, like period. And you can't take it out of my control. Um, sure, SolidWorks, if my computer hard drive crashed, I got a big problem. I got three hours to get a new computer put together, or built up or installed a license. And, and let's not forget folks, if anyone's ever dealt with like dongles and, and um, serial or USB stuff or downloading licensed stuff from websites to like activate and deactivate computers, pain in the ass. I don't miss that at all. That's one of the great things about Fusion. I love, it's on my Mac, that's huge for me. Well, it may not be for everybody, but it's great. Um, it is really nice, but you can't take that control away from me. And so last night, there was some cloud sync error where I couldn't upload a file for about, well, an hour, I went to bed, but um, after that, and it was, I think, a perfect storm because it was a customer file that was like an F3Z, which I think is an assembly within Fusion. So I couldn't, uh, if it was an F3D, I think I could have opened it locally and not used the cloud. And if it were an IGES or STEP, I could have opened it in SolidWorks or something else, which I know you guys all can't do, but uh, I could have had creative solutions. Here, I was hosed, I, I, at least I think I was hosed. Um, that's actually one of my questions is to figure out, can I open F3Z and F3D files in Inventor? Again, not a great solution for everybody, but I'm trying to figure out, like you can't do this to me, period. Like under no circumstances. So I wanna understand uh, what is the role that Fusion team wants to look for going forward with the cloud. Um, getting angry, which I was last night, and being short-sighted and yelling and bitching, generally doesn't get results that happen. Um, here's the situation. I love the software. I think I've got a pretty healthy view of the bigger picture. Uh, we love using it. We've got a YouTube channel with 100,000 subscribers. Um, and, and I've actually gotten the chance to know a lot of people on the Fusion team. Somewhat ironically, we're starting a training class here, a three-day class in about an hour. And I think two guys from the Fusion team are taking the class. So we've got their ear. Uh, and something to remember is that Autodesk isn't a company, uh, it's like anything else in the world, it's a group of people. Um, those people aren't out to maliciously frustrate us with, with shitty cloud service, they're, they're not. Um, stuff happens, I get it. He, here's my question is, is this something that Autodesk views as a like tier one focus priority, is it getting fixed? I just wanna understand that, so here's a great example. There's a thing called ITARS, which is a US State Department issue that has to do with ownership of data and controlling what servers it's on. It's not something I don't even really fully understand. It's, it's sort of like defense, national security stuff. But if you make a gun part or a, a rocket ship part, you're subject to ITARS. I'm not a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. But Fusion 360, so far as I can tell, has made it publicly known we can't and don't plan to support 
companies that need to be ITAR compliant. So if you're um, XYZ rocket ship defense machine gun missile company, it's Fusion 360 just isn't going to make sense for you because you don't have, as the consumer and user of Fusion 360, I don't, I don't know what exactly it is, whether it's control of the data or knowing where the servers are held. Um, and, and that's fine. Fusion's like, hey, you're, you're not a good fit for us. That's fine. My concern is, are we no longer a good fit for Fusion? Because, you know, being down for, you know, let's say it's an hour a year, isn't that big a deal. Maybe it's just bad timing. And again, things happen. You lose, you know, you lose power. Like, I, I, we're not in a perfect world, but this is too much. We lost data with Fusion 360 twice. And the first time I kind of let it pass. Um, the second time I was ticked, there was a case file. I got some pretty frankly flaky answer about DNS resolutions between servers and the cloud backside. And I was kind of like, okay, that, that's it. Um, you know, next time is when I start to try to pull, pull strings. But again, getting mad isn't gonna f solve it. I mean, yeah, I could stop my feet and move on and go back to SolidWorks and HSM works. And, and Maybe that's what we have to do, but the truth is I like Fusion, I like it for us, and um, it makes sense for the for our YouTube audience because SolidWorks is round numbers five grand. HSM Works, the 3D version that's similar to Fusion is eight grand? You're talking about $13,000, plus something like one to two grand a year for maintenance, which you have to use, long story short, to be sustainable, you've gotta do that. So. Money does talk, that is hugely valuable. The problem is that I don't, I can't, I just, you can't do this to me. You can't have me not get my data when a customer's here, when a machine's here, when I gotta get, you know, how many of you here have stayed up till 1 a.m. to finish a rush job or get something done? That's the awesome thing about the world we live in is we can do that, we can control it. And you know, I, I get it, with the cloud you don't own your data. Um, I don't really care, maybe I'm naive, about uh, hackers, because you know what? If someone wants to hack me or others, there's a will, there's a way. So I'm not so concerned about that. I'm concerned about the innocent stuff. I'm concerned about the data center going down or this sort of server migration stuff. And you know, one of the things that ticked me off last night kind of goes back to communicating with your customers is Autodesk has a health status website where you can check the status of the cloud and software and servers. And I went to it for Fusion 360 and it said all systems go healthy. And I'm, there's a form you can look up, I'll put a link in the description where I was like, well, why does that say healthy? And they're like, well, it was a degraded service and we were debating whether to change the status it's manually updated. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm not a software engineer, but a health monitoring website, which is manually updated and subjective based on whether you, somebody thinks it's a widespread enough to update the status, that's not a health monitoring website. That's a, it's not what that is. So um, here's the plan. I would like to talk to some folks at the Fusion team. I plan on doing that. I would like your input in the comments below. I don't, I'm not looking for haters. I'm not looking for people that are, you know, you, let's, we, you have to figure out how to change this. Don't pose a problem without a solution. If you're a guy that's in rural Montana, living the life with no internet, running a shop, Fusion just isn't gonna be for you, period. It's not, I don't have a problem with that from a Fusion standpoint. I have a problem with this, and I want to understand from the Fusion team, how acceptable is this? Because if they think, you know what, it's something you've got to kind of get used to, the cloud, we're going to get better at it, but but then that changes things. What I'm hoping, and I need to think more about what I want, but I think I want something where the cloud exists, but as does a local copy, because darn it, right now, if the Fusion stuff went down, totally gone, there's nothing I can do. I could file, you know, get lawyers involved or I don't know, whatever, do something, but that's not gonna get my data back. And right now, I don't have a way to bulk download F3D files of my data. I just files, I just don't. I could export individual ones, but that doesn't come close to making sense. So I like this idea of some sort of a local copy where I've still got all my data. Maybe the compromise there is that that still wouldn't have solved my problem last night where I was trying to open a file that couldn't be opened locally. Um, so maybe it's not a perfect solution, but we got to figure this out. And my criticism so far of, um, of again, the Fusion team and the overall thing is, um, in my opinion, this is a bigger issue than rolling out the new layer of finite element analysis, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's some core things that need fixed in drawing and sketching. Um, I'd like to hear more about those from you guys too, because 
it's sexy to, to expand the product, but the core, in my opinion, needs a little bit of work. And hey, it's not easy. You're managing a software team of hundreds, of, literally, I think there are hundreds of people writing code for Fusion. I don't think I probably appreciate how complicated that is. This is not eight guys sitting in one room deciding what to work on today. But it's a question of where are you allocating resources and priorities and timelines? And this needs fixed, period. Like this needs fixed. I don't ever wanna have this happen to me again. Or if the answer is it will happen, and then uh, we gotta think about whether it's the right software for us. So more to come. Let us know constructively, please, in the comments below. Um, have you guys seen cloud problems? What do you think is our solutions? You know, I'm trying to, again, it's one thing in life to bitch. It's another thing to say, hey, no, here's the solution. So what is the solution here, folks? Help me think it out. Let's make this better. Um, I've got some ideas on how we can kind of join forces here to try to influence the team in the direction the software goes, and, and we'll take it from there. See you tomorrow, folks.